Hello Hunters! Today I have an exciting video to share, and it's about a recently discovered speedrunning trick in Monster Hunter World we call Ledge Light Bowgun, or LLBG for short. While crossing the ledge with the generated momentum of a heavy recoil shot from the Light Bowgun, one is able to cancel the recoil animation of the shot completely. This trick has some interesting implications for the Light Bowgun, and has propelled the weapon into deep uncharted territory within the speedrunning world. Light Bowgun was often thought to be the weakest of the ranged weapons, but it turns out, it was actually the most powerful of them all. Before I get into Ledge Light Bowgun, I'm going to give a brief summary of how the Light Bowgun normally operates in Monster Hunter World. This part of the video is more to give some basic understanding for those players who either don't play Bowguns, have forgotten, or are simply new players wanting to learn more about the game. If you would like to skip straight to the Ledge Bowgun stuff, see the timestamps in the description below. So every light bowgun, on top of having its own attack, affinity, and decoration slots, has its own baseline recoil, reload, deviation, and ammo types it can shoot. Every bowgun in the smithy has space for three custom mod slots, which allow the player to further tailor the bowgun to fit the player's need. The mods one can use can be accessed in the smithy under customized bowgun, but for the purposes of speedrunning, we're only going to focus on the recoil, reload, and close-up mods. The close-up mod gives our weapon extra attack when in close proximity. And since spread is the strongest ammo type, it makes sense that it's a common go-to damage mod for most runs. Being up close always also destroys the need for any investment in any deviation mods, since your shots won't travel far enough for them to deviate. In an ideal world, we would stack three close-up mods for max power, each yielding diminishing attack returns of 15%, 10%, and 5%. Unfortunately, the game gives us bowguns that require at least some form of investment in recoil and or reload, meaning sacrifices have to be made. Normally recoil takes precedent to reload, since recoil affects every shot, while reload only affects you once per clip. The game very nicely puts on the table how many of these mods of recoil or reload it would take in order to affect your bowgun animations. For this video, I will use exclusively the Devil's Madness or the Devil Joe Light Bowgun, since it's the best light bowgun for this trick due to its insanely high raw, and also for its ability to shoot spread 3s. According to the recoil table, the lowest we can take spread 3s is to average speed with 2 recoil mods and the lowest we can take to spread 3 reloads is to normal speed by using 2 reload mods. Since we only have 3 custom mods and it would take 4 mods to increase both recoil and reload speed, we sacrifice the reload and go 2 recoils and 1 close up. But what if we actually didn't need to sacrifice anything? We have finally arrived to the part of the video where I teach you how to ledge light bowgun. In the training arena, grab your devil's madness with no recoil mods and choose any large recoil inducing ammo such as spread 3s or sticky 3s. Test the shot first on the ground. You should notice that it propels you backwards pretty far, and it locks you into a long recoil animation. Now, climb over a ledge, one you can walk off of, and with your back facing the ledge, simply shoot, then briefly hold forward, and repeat. You will notice your recoil animation gets cancelled as you slide off the ledge. This trick essentially turns your light bowgun into a semi-automatic. Very cool stuff. Tiny clip sizes and horrible reloads are still a huge issue for the light bowgun however. But, lucky for us, we have some ways to minimize these issues. To deal with the tiny clip size, we will use the skills Ammo Up and Spare Shot. Ammo Up level 3 will increase the size of our clip by one of whatever high recoil ammo we choose to use. One can use charms, armors, or jewels to fit this guy in. Spare Shot is trickier to get, and requires you to get 3 pieces of Xeno armor, preferably AT Xeno armor to activate. Spare Shot will give us a 20% chance that our ammo is not being used up when shot. Although ammo up and spare shot don't completely fix the light bowgun's tiny clip issue, it at least improves it by a good amount. We can now go ahead and tackle the slow reload problem. Normally when playing light bowgun, we usually just accept our slow reload curse due to having no other choice. However, since we have no need for recoil mods now, we should invest in reload mods, right? Well, we could, but there's another way to avoid slow reloading, and that is by the use of air reloading. When air reloading, your gun has a short reload animation not affected by mods, meaning that although we can't cancel the reload, we can severely diminish its lag. This strategy is used beautifully in Fimento's recent TA run on AT Teostra, as seen in front of you. It's another neat trick bowgun players have in order to gain the edge over their competition. By combining the recoil cancel and air reloading, we get what we call Ledge Light Bowgun. Now that we have no need for any reload or recoil investments, we can also go ahead and max our bowgun mods to all close-up mods. With everything added up, LLBG not only has increased fire rate over a conventional light bowgun, but lower reload times and increased damage per shot. Truly a beast of a trick. 
So to recap how you perform ledge lie bowgun, walk up a ledge, let the stick go neutral, and shoot. Hold forward until you're back up the ledge, and repeat until you have one shot left on your clip. On the last shot of the clip, always assume you will not proc spare shot. Shoot, and quickly mash shoot plus reload button as you cross over the ledge. Once reloading, wait halfway through the animation until the clip actually reloads, and then cancel the reload animation with a forward roll. Congratulations, you are now a certified ledge light bow gunner. Getting the air reloads consistently is by far the hardest part of the trick. Some tips I have that might help is to remember to let the stick go neutral before shooting and to not shoot the last shot of the clip too fast after you climb over the ledge. Another thing I like to do, which I'm not sure if it's actually helpful, is to mash the direction away from the ledge after I have let my stick go neutral and shot my last shot. This is why you see my character reloading backwards or sideways in all my LLBG runs. On smaller ledges, slowing yourself down slightly also seems to give the trick consistency. So find the correct rhythm and speed the specific ledge allows and practice, practice, practice. The air reload's difficulty will vary with ledge height and roundness as well. So if you're really struggling, try pulling the monster to a different part of the ledge. Some ledges just seem to work better than others for ledge light bowgun. Ledge light bowgun, although insanely powerful, probably reaching the highest sustained DPS in the game, forces the player to be glued to the ledge, meaning a monster must remain positioned in front of the ledge in order to properly abuse its damage. The moment the monster exits the ledge, it's basically game over, since your triple close-up mod light bowgun will probably not get very far fighting normally on flat ground. Scripting setups around this limitation is the true art of playing LLBG, and is usually an overlooked aspect of ledge light bowgun runs. Luckily for us, Monster Hunter World offers the player a wide variety of ways to achieve this monster ledge lockdown. Some of these tools include the use of traps and status ailments, such as KOs, paras, and sleeps. Since lockdown time is usually limited, any mess ups in the execution of the LLBG trick can cost you the run, making these kinds of runs some of the most technically demanding runs in Monster Hunter World speedrunning. Another two light bug and tricks that I will cover that currently don't seem to have any representation in the speedrunning scene are Aerial Light Bowgun and Reverse Ledge Light Bowgun. Aerial Light Bowgun, like Ledge Light Bowgun, uses your shot's recoil, but instead of pushing you off the ledge, it pushes you back onto the ledge after having rolled off of it. Aerial Light Bowgun is much slower than Ledge Light Bowgun in fire rate, but it has the benefit of not needing a ledge that you can walk off of. Like Ledge Light Bowgun, you're able to stack close up mods since aerial shots have their own set level of recoil and are not affected by recoil mods, allowing an aerial light bowgun set to output slightly more power than a traditional light bowgun set. Aerial light bowgun unfortunately just seems to be way too slow to be very useful, since having a monster glued to the ledge long enough and at the right angle is an issue. Maybe there's a run out there where it can be used, but until then it will remain nothing but a pipe dream. The last trick I want to cover is one I discovered very recently when tinkering with ledge light bowgun. I call this trick reverse ledge light bowgun. And it works similar to Aerial Light Bowgun, except that instead of jumping off the ledge and shooting, you let your character fall before you're using your aerial shot to push you back onto the ledge. But wait, it gets crazier. If you fire your shot at the right time after falling, your recoil momentum lands you back at the very edge of the ledge, which then pushes your character back outwards. If you let your control stick go neutral when this happens, your recoil will cancel as you recross the ledge allowing you to quickly chain your shots. Reverse ledge light bowgun relies on falling a certain distance from the ledge before firing, so it's basically not possible to do on smaller ledges. In terms of fire rate, it's probably slightly faster than ledge light bowgun, but due to the trick's strict angle, it just doesn't seem realistic to be able to orchestrate a run around it. Reload lag is even a bigger issue here, since even if you manage to get the quick air reload, you must reclimb the tall ledge and fall again to restart the chain, which wastes a lot of time. This trick has also been proven to work with the heavy bowgun, but it also hasn't seen any uses as of yet. Reverse ledge light bowgun is probably the most technically demanding trick in all Monster Hunter World, which is probably why it will remain nothing but a novelty until someone crazy enough to master it finds a consistent way to abuse it. Ledge light bowgun and its other variations all worked in the Iceborne beta, so it's safe to assume that it will remain intact when the expansion drops on September 6th of this year. Lightbogun's heavy focus on setups and scripting is the reason I fell in love with the weapon. And now with recoil and reload cancels added to its arsenal of tricks, you can for sure bet I'll be playing a lot more of this weapon into the foreseeable future. I hope this video not only teaches players about how ledge lightbogun works, but inspires players to come up with their own ridiculous and innovative strategies to speedrun with in Monster Hunter World. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time.